Null Island. Item number 8601. Level 2. Restricted. Containment class. Keter. Disruption class. Kenek. Risk class. Critical. Special Containment Procedures Civilian flight traffic is currently forbidden for ICAO policy. Footnote International Civil Aviation Organization In accordance with GOC support for cover story PR 8601 1, poorly made navigation software, disputed airspace, and environmental concerns. Within 240 Nm, 444.48 kilometers, of SCP-8601, and ship traffic within 60 nm, 111.12 km, to prevent witnessing of manifestation events. Unauthorized intrusions are to be deterred by agents within the maritime and aviation oversight organizations in the Gulf of Guinea. Public information about SCP-8601 is limited to the existence of a single buoy. Monthly expeditions are to be launched from Sao Tome to collect and distribute accumulated debris from SCP-8601, which is to be contained in the depths of the sea without further study. Foundation Personnel Footnote If any, remote control is now preferred to prevent loss of life. Vehicles and testing equipment should not approach beyond a safe distance of 250 meters to prevent additional intersection events. Appendix A lists cautionary periods during which testing shall cease. SCP-8601 shall be evacuated, and counter-tsunami measures shall be prepared. The High Energy Anomalies Division shall inform MAD-level organizations of notable anomalous events, after which the Public Relations Department and Seismic Monitoring Organizations shall execute Mass Cover Story PR-8601-2 Earthquake. Generally available and Special Purpose Foundation Computer Systems shall be improved to comply with the requirements in Appendix B, insofar possible. Description SCP-8601, colloquially Null Island, is the anomalous appearance of random objects, SCP-8601 instances, in the sea at the crossing of the Prime Meridian and the Equator, at exactly 0 north, 0 east, 0 meters altitude. SCP-8601-1 instances manifest instantaneously Footnote. Confirmed to be less than 0.70 microseconds at the average sea level. Footnote. 0.0034% of instances manifest at significantly different altitudes, observed up to 9.4 kilometers above the sea. The objects are very varied, ranging from junk to high-tech equipment, almost always completely malformed or destroyed by the simultaneous intersection with the atmosphere. Ocean, in previous instances, with temperatures ranging from 98 degrees Celsius to 677 degrees Celsius in 95% of cases. Manifestation events are random with discernible patterns, grouping the suspected national origins of SCP-8601-1 instances reveals 38% more objects manifest during the local working hours and 58% less objects manifest during local weekends or local holidays. Appendix A lists rare occasions where large amounts of instances may manifest simultaneously, resulting in high-yield events. On an average day, 112 manifestation events occur with an average total mass of 90 megagrams. Further study of instances and locating their sources and displacement are forbidden per RCT-Delta T policy. Selection of Recovered SCP-8601-1 Instances Date, 1970, September 17th Object, Heineken Bottle of Beer Notes, Largely melted, but the Dutch language label is partially legible. Date, 1970, November 6th Object, Refrigerator Car Notes Footage recovered from the sunken research vessel shows a refrigerator manifesting, followed by a car manifesting, two milliseconds afterwards. The overlapping objects merging in a high-energy event, which launched the object directly at the research vessel. Containment procedures revised accordingly. Date, 
1971, April 3rd. Object, Iranian 1972 calendar. Notes, somewhat burned. Note, already available for purchase. Date, 1972, January 5th. Object, digital computer equipment. Notes, destroyed with an unusually high transistor account. Date, 1973, April 9th. Object, 1972 Jeep CJ5-258-6, four speed, man four. Notes, crushed, foundation serial numbers were recovered, corresponding to a missing vehicle. Date, 1973, August 5th. Object, California vanity license plate, null. Notes, not issued, unpaid parking tickets. Date, 1974, May 5th. Object, 1975 German Bundesliga Almanac. Notes, forgery. Date, 1979, February 25th. Object, Kiev class aircraft carrier. Notes, Molten, CPSU and VMF liaisons say no such vessel is missing. Date, 1977, June 22nd. Object, 10-story apartment complex. Notes, origin believed to be in Malaysia. Date, 1978, March 2nd. Object, SCP blank. Notes, data expunged. Date, 1979, December 28th. Object, corpse. Notes, incinerated, believed to have Moldavian ancestry. Discovery, the Foundation satellite detected a 1.2 times 10 to the 14th J explosion on 1970 January 1st, zero hour UTC in the Gulf of Guinea near zero degrees north, zero degrees east. Analysis indicated the event was not due to a thermonuclear detonation. Neither POTUS nor GSCPSU accepted responsibility when questioned, and the event was deemed anomalous. SCP-8601 was designated after observing several manifestation events. Foundation researchers discovered a large underwater deposit of destroyed materials, and testing commenced. Addendum 1980, January 6th. Foundation satellites detected a 9.3 by 10 to the 12th J explosion on 1980, January 6th, zero hour UTC at SCP-8601. NATO and WTO were immediately informed. The research team was lost, and the West African coast was wrecked by the subsequent tsunami. Mass cover story PR-8601-2 was instituted, and the containment procedures adjusted accordingly. The debris at SCP-8601 was determined to be predominantly vehicular components. Addendum 1999, August 22nd. Testing had discontinued in favor of containment after years of predictable behavior and no explanation for the high yield events. However, a 3.2 by 10 to the 13th J explosion occurred on 1999, August 21st, 235947 UTC. Researchers noted the 1980 January 6th in 1999 August 22nd events, coincided with the Global Positioning System Epochs, a new technology at the time, and the 1970 January 1st event also coincided with the Epoch used by many operating systems. Addendum 2000 January 1st. Explosions of magnitudes ranging from 7.6 by 10 to the 12th J to 1.6 by 10 to the 13th J began on 1999 December 31st, 12 UTC, and repeating each hour slash half hour slash 15 minutes for another 24 hours, mostly matching the time zones currently in use. The special containment procedures were amended with the Appendix A cautionary periods. Addendum 2019, April 7th. As predicted, a 4.2 by 10 to the 13th J explosion occurred along with the third GPS epoch, 
on 2019 April 7th, 2359-42 UTC, and the countermeasures undertaken to avoid tsunami damage were successful. Addendum 2020, April 17th. The following information was found in the archives of Her Majesty's Royal Foundation for the Study of Curiosities and Phantasmagoria. The Royal Foundation became aware of a new island at zero degrees north, zero degrees east, reported by returning explorers in early 1900, which they claimed did not exist in late 1899, from which they had recovered unusual materials. Researchers were sent to the island, which they determined to be composed largely from destroyed metallic objects of unknown function. The research efforts were not prioritized due to the mundane nature and remote location of the anomaly. Researchers returned to the island in early 1902, but failed to locate it. Questioning of the locals on Sao Tome revealed a very destructive tsunami on Friday 13th, December 1901, which was collaborated across the Gulf of Guinea. A tsunami was also reported on New Year's Eve 1900, when the island might have originally appeared. RTC Delta T Notice Further study of SCP-8601-1 instances is hereby restricted to RCT Delta T. Containment remains under of the purview of the High Energy Anomalies Division. Excerpt from RCT Delta T 101 Plus T Introductory Course Although RCT Delta T has the authority and duty to prosecute further temporal pollution, SCP-8601 is essential to time seek calibration. E.g., the 1970 and 2038 events are the fastest way to precisely determine the time-space frame of reference. Fluctuations in high-yield SCP-8601 events are furthermore invaluable to promptly fingerprint timelines. RCT Delta T fully supports the proposed computer system requirements, but proposals for neutralization or full containment are denied due to SCP-8601's near thaumiel status and well-known future behavior. Appendix A Cautionary Periods Time 2036 February 7th 06-28-16 UTC Rationale Network Time Protocol Overflow Time 2038, January 19th, 031408, UTC. Rationale 31 bit overflow of seconds since 1970. Year 2038 problem. Time 2038, November 21st, 019, TAI. Footnote UTC time varies with leap seconds as to be decided by the International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service in Bulletin C. Rationale Third GPS Week Number Rollover Footnote Recurring 19.6 year cycle Partially delayed to 2137 with CNAV 157 year cycle Time 2099 December 31st 12 UTC Rationale Y2.1 K Problem Time 2106 February 7th 062816 UTC Rationale 32 bit overflow of seconds since 1970 year 2106 problem Time 9999 December 31st 12 UTC Rationale Y10K problem Appendix B Computer System Requirements the O5 Council hereby mandates the immediate worldwide discontinuance of computer systems with 32-bit timekeeping, the use of full-length years, not merely two or four digits, and the upgrade of all protocols and file formats to versions with 64-bit timestamps, without overflow issues within the expected lifetime of the universe. No new epochs shall be adopted to prevent further high-yield events. Non-values shall be represented using explicit Null slash undefined slash uninitialized values of a different type instead of zero or any particular value. Further humorous requests to redesignate the anomaly as SCP-0 will be categorically denied with prejudice and reprimanded as failing to learn the essential lessons of SCP-8601 to properly distinguish no value and zero.